Good morning and welcome to the replay. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Doreen. Hello, hello. How are you guys? It is very early. But that's okay. It's really not very early. It's 8.50. I mean, during the week, I would have conquered the world by now. Just saying. Jolly is right down to the day with my Starbucks holiday blend. Love it. Good morning, Lori Michelle. Good morning, Mary Ellen. Hello, or Mary Helen. Mary, can I call you, or Mary Helen, can I call you Mary? Hello, 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 hello. As you guys are coming in, bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is a share button. I would love it if you click share. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hi, Donna. I am up and showered and ready for my day. Let's chat, huh? Let's chat a little. So we went out to our local mall last night. We went out with my brother-in-law, Justin. Um, he is the one that is, uh, him and his wife, Janine, are the, one, the next ones that are expecting my sweet little nephew. Oh, I said nephew. Wow, that was weird. Uh, I don't know what we're expect what they're expecting. They're having the gender reveal um, next week, um, like next week sometime, and I'm gonna be making a chalkboard for them. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna do that this morning. But um, we went out last night. Hi, Lori. Hi, Shana. How are you? Good morning, Betty. Okay, I will call you Mary from now on, Mary. Hi, Shirley Hess. So we were out at the mall and we were looking at stuff and I have never been in the Lush store. Have you guys ever heard of Lush? It's like um, homemade um, or handmade soaps and lotions and shampoos and hair products and all. So we went in there last night and, well, I went in there last night while the boys stayed outside because Big Brain can't stand that smell. So um, why does it look like a black and blue mark? Let's just be a shadow. Weird. Um, I was going to say I'm not battered. I don't know why that happened. So, anywho, um, we went in there last night, and oh, my gosh. I'm obsessed with that store now. Ooh, it's pretty pricey in there, so I have to get over that obsession quick. But um, I got a bunch of different products to try. And one of the things, which is weird, is I can never usually pull a little poof off on a day that I wash my hair. There's women watching. You could probably understand and sympathize with me but I got this stuff and it doesn't even look like I put anything in my hair but it makes it like solid which is awesome I'm pretty excited hi Karen hi Jacqueline how are you Jackie hi Jennifer good morning good morning as you guys are coming in bottom left hand side of your mobile device is a share button I'd love it if you click it um so anyway yeah we were in there and I was probably in there for 45 minutes some of the stuff stinks it is not a good smell to me at least but a lot of the stuff, they have really, really nice smell. Like I got this shampoo. I think it's called, I don't know what which one it is. But it smelled like eucalyptus big time. Um, I got a body scrub that was infused with vodka. And I sure as heck smelled that. Um, good morning, Kim Stanton. So, um, yeah, I'm like pretty jazzed that I got all this stuff. I tried it out. I like it. I like it a lot. So the whole point of that was I actually have a poof that I can do on a day that I wash my hair. That never happens. Anyway, I'm jolly about it. Yay. Morning, Karen. So today I am going to be making, um, I got, whoops, I probably should have showed you the picture. That probably would have been the easiest way to go about this. But no Lord knows where I just threw the trash out at. You would think in a trash can. Here it is. Um, I got an apron that, nope, 
Don't know what I did with it. Anywho, it's an apron I got from Ikea in their, from their 2018 Christmas collection. And I'm going to jazz it up with some chalk couture because it's awesome because it's, you know, plaid and all. But it's boring. So it needs to be chalked up. We're going to use some couture ink today. And we're going to put just a little something on here. i got to figure out how it goes first, I think. Oh, there it is. So I'm thinking i um, probably going to just put a little something maybe on the pocket and maybe a little something at the top where I would wear it. Um, oh, well, that's really long. How do you put this around yourself? What is that? Oh, you tie it. It's a fancy little apron. I like it. Hi, Catherine. Good morning, Stacy. Good morning. Good morning. So we're going to be using some couture ink today. I also got these, which are super cute. They're little gift card things. So depending on how long it takes us to ink up our project today, I might even do some of these little, oh, here it goes. I can open it here. Some of these ooh, gift card holders. Because this could be fun. Oh, I really like this one. Oh, we're definitely putting something on here. We have the holiday icons, and I figured maybe a little holiday icon would be perfect on this. Look, this almost matches my dress. Well, it's a brighter red, but... Super cute, right? All right, so made my first shirt last night for my craft show today. I was crying how easy it was, Lori. It is so easy. Don't you love that? I love the ease of chalk couture. Hi, Catherine. How are you, girl? So um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, which chalk couture, what is this girl saying? I'm going to throw a little something up here that will go over exactly what chalk couture is. I'm also going to um, get everything ready back here, get my heat iron on whoopsie I forgot to do picture in picture while you guys are reading there it goes let's put you guys let me put myself way up here today there it goes okay that should be long enough time for you guys to have read okay so get my power on for my iron I think well that was a little too high 3.30. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I have all the little pieces from the Mrs. Claus, um, can't, is it Mrs. Claus Cake Bakery Shop? I forget what it's called. Why am I drawing a blank on this transfer? Mrs. Claus Candy Shop. Yeah. So I have all the little pieces here. I was thinking what I'm going to do at the top here is going to be, uh, I'm, I put my, put a name up. It says Mrs. Claus. I thought that would be so cute. You know, make it act like I'm Mrs. Claus. And then I'm going to do Handmade with Love. And then I'm going to put the little gingerbread man down here, the little Christmas cookie down here. I just thought that would be really cute to make it look like it's little cookies. Okay? So we're not going to use the gumdrop or the candy because, well, I would never really make that. Let's be real. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Lynn. Good morning. I brought my granddaughter an apron, too. I'm going to chalk hers up, too. Yay, Stacy. From windows to aprons. Absolutely. Isn't it awesome, Shelly? All the things you can do. And what did we do the other day? We did the canvas banner. Um, we did the windows or the the glass of my storm door last night. Hi, Verna Lynn. Hello, hello. So, um, yeah, we're going to do some inking today. I really, I had Christmas carols playing, but then I realized that Facebook will shut me down if I put the music playing in the background. So, anywho, it's okay. Totally fine. Now, I'm not even going to iron this. And it is such a thick material. I'm not even going to use my canvas mat underneath it. This is very thick. I learned that when I was making, I have a pillow that I made. It was a very thick material. So I'm not concerned. Um, I am going to be using my white couture ink. Or you know what? I think we're going to use fawn ink today. Oh, wait. Probably not the best idea to use fawn on for that maybe for the cookie background we'll do that because we're going to do green for the tree and fawn for the cookie that's what we'll do okay so where did I put the stuff at oh right here silly okay so we're going to do Mrs. Claus right here as if it's my name tag Ooh. Um. so we're going to do Mrs. Claus and then handmade with love hi Becky how are you just like that. Now, what I will likely do, because I have to do layers, um, and I have to make sure it dries, I'm probably going to start with the layers of the cookies. So let's do our first layers here of the tree and the gingerbread man. 
Let's work on that first on the pocket. On the pocket, which is right here. Not a very big pocket, but I just thought it would be super cute. Can you guys see that? Yeah, you can see it. All right, so I've already labeled everything because I've already used this. And as you read, Chocotour is reusable silkscreen adhesive back transfers. So we're going to reuse them over and over and over again. Okay, so I'm going to put my little gingerbread guy down. I'm going to put my little tree down. I probably, you know what? You know how I just said I wasn't going to iron it because it wasn't? I'm going to iron it real quick. Just this little area right here needs a little help. It's not very flat. A little bump still, but it's okay. It'll work. It'll work. Oops. Let's stay down there. Okay. All right, now let's put them down. Little gingerbread guy, little Christmas tree. They're gonna be so cute. Hi, Becky. Hi, Tammy. Thanks for joining. As you guys are coming in, bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is a share button. <coughs> Excuse me. I would love it if you click share. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's make sure these are down really, really well. No bumps in our silk screen area. We don't want any bumps and lumps. See how that... <coughs> Okay, so where's the white ink? Right here. So let's go ahead and we're going to do our base layer in white so that way we can layer the top of the cookie, which would look like the icing, in green and uh, meadow and fawn. Hi, Nikki Morris. Hi, Iris. Hello, hello. Good morning. Thank you for joining. Bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is a share button. I would love it if you guys share. We're having coffee from our Charlie. My read done of the day is jolly. Okay. Let's see. All right. I'm really taking a chance by putting my napkin on my project. Okay. And I really barely have any white couture ink left, which is awesome. But that's okay because I have more. I have another container of it. But it just goes to show you hardly use any, really. Okay, so when I ink, I start from top to bottom and I start a little above the screen. Let's zoom in a little, shall we? Okay, I start a little above the screen. I also go top to bottom. I do not go side to side because I've learned that when I do that, it if I have a bubble, that is when it's going to bleed. and take this first part off. Ooh, there's the base of our gingerbread man. Now let's come in and do the base of my Christmas tree for the cookie. Good morning. Where'd I get my apron? Ikea. I love Ikea. Hi, Amanda. Good morning, Elena. Good morning, Iris. Okay, remember I start a little above the screen, working top to bottom. And you might have luck going side to side. Okay, I just don't. I have not had luck. I always bleed when that happens, when I do that. Probably my luck was that I had a bubble every time. So maybe I just shouldn't have done that. Oh, make sure you don't have any ink on your hands when you go to pull it up. How cute they look so far. Yay! They're going to be adorable. Oh, you know what would be so cute? Will that fit there? Hold on. Oh, I'm really taking a lot of chances by doing this like this. Why am I doing that? Let's get that out of the way. Where's Handmade with Love? What did I do with it? Will that fit down there? Or Made with Love? Oh, we're going to do Made with Love on the pocket. That's going to make more sense. Hi, Brittany. Hi, Patty. Good morning. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to dry this first layer. Before we ink, sorry, keep sliding. 
before we ink. Ugh. There it goes. Morning, Brittany. As you guys are coming in, bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is a share button. I would love it if you click share. They're so cute already. They look like white blobs on the screen, but I promise you they're adorable. All right, they should be sort of dry. Now, let's do made with love. I think it'll look even cuter on the pocket, and then I'll just be Mrs. Claus at the top. So cute. Oh, I can move down more. I want it like right at the bottom of the pocket. And oh, that's pretty good. Okay. I think I'm going to do the fawn for the made with love. I think that'll look cute. I think it'll look really cute. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, remember start above the screen, pull the color down. And I'm likely going to go very heavy with this like I did on my canvas banner the other day. If you guys watched that video, I went pretty heavy with it. And it showed up like it looked like it was embossed. It was so cool. Ruh row. I think I had a bubble. We'll see. Um, totally off the subject, but I really like the way my hair smells from that stuff. I really like the way it smells. I can smell it as I'm leaning down. Good, I like that Lush store. I can't believe I've never gone in it before. So funny. Okay. Oh, I don't want that to fall. No ink on me. Take your time peeling it back. Oh, of course, it, it slid down, so you guys probably didn't even see me ink that. How's that? It's sliding because of the glass underneath. You see how cute that looks? Hi, Kim. Hi, Dawn Marie. Hi, Gail. Hello, hello. How are you guys? Thanks for joining. sniffing my hair as I do this. <laughs> I have issues, guys. I have issues. Just want to make sure it's totally dry before we go and heat set it. Okay, I'm probably going to even do Mrs. Claus now. Just because I think it will make sense if I do that. And then I can heat set a bunch at one time. You stop it, machine. Do what you want still. Okay. I'm hoping that this really is dry. Because if it gets on my dress, I'm going to be sad. Don't get on my dress. Hold on. This needs to move so I don't get it on anything else. Okay. Where's Mrs. Claus? There she is. She moved. And I almost took everything out here. Okay. So now we're going to do, it's like up here is something. What is that? Oh, it's the ribbon thing. Okay. 
All right, so we're gonna put Mrs. Claus right here in the center. I think that'll be super cute, don't you? Okay. Oop. Does that appear to be centered? It actually sort of does. And I'm gonna use the fawn again for Mrs. Claus because I think it'll look really nice. Okay, I have no bumps. Come on back, fawn. Really taking chances doing this. Should not have the ink on here. Okay, load it up, pull it down. I have not done my holiday baking, so it was a necessity that I got this done ASAP so that way I can wear it while I bake. I'm super excited to do that. And I'm loading it up because it is a very heavy fabric underneath. And I want the ink to kind of sit on the top of it. So that way it stays. And it sh it's like very concentrated, if you will. We're good. I think that's definitely enough. Pull the lines out. I can't really tell. I think I need the lines out. Oh, that looks so awesome. It looks embroidered. Embroidered. I can't say that word. I'm too stuffed up to be trying to say that word. I love it. So cute. Hi, Catherine Starnes. How are you, girly? Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, let's dry it. Ugh. Then we're going to heat set everything and then come back in and do the layers of the cookies. And then we'll heat set that and then it's done. Super excited about this. Oh, I can't wait to sport this apron. What do you guys have on your agendas for today? Is anybody baking? I am going to see if my mom is around and available to maybe go to a few stores with me. Big brands sound asleep. Little brands sleeping up and walls. Thank you, Nikki. Um, so I kind of have the morning to myself. <coughs> if it ever stops raining here, um, we were supposed to go to this place in La Hoska, PA. It's called Peddler's Village. It's the cutest place ever. We're supposed to go to that tonight. <coughs> but we might be rained out. We'll see. We're going to go with uh, Mike and Carl. I can't wait. I wish she was able to go to leadership with us this year, but she has stuff for her job that she, you know, can't get around. But she's definitely going to convention. I can't wait for everybody that is a designer to meet her. So you see why I yellow. Carl! Every time. <laughs> Oh, how fun, Catherine. I'm baking for an open house today. So cute. Are you selling your house, Catherine? Finally putting up your tree, Betty. Very cool. Hi, Debbie Green. Rainy morning in New Jersey as well, Debbie. I'm planning on baking today. Yay, Nikki. Yay, yay, yay. Okay. Guess what? We're all dry. So now is the time to start heat setting. So we're going to heat set Mrs. Claus first. Then we'll come down and, and do our cookies. So when we heat set, we need to have a parchment paper barrier. Even if you are using a regular iron, on an iron, you will put on a cotton setting for four minutes. If you have a heat press, uh, 330 for 30 seconds with the parchment paper barrier in between for both. Hi, Kristen. I am glad. Well, you know what? I want, I actually kind of am feeling some snow. Um, 
I really am hoping for a white Christmas. I would love it. What am I doing? I missed that extra second. Apparently I was done ironing there. Okay. So I'm move this up. Put this underneath it. There we go. All right. Let's get our cookies done. We set our little cookies. I have to move down a little. Sorry, it's the way I have my heat press plugged in, guys. It's back here. Um, yeah, that right down on that side. It doesn't stretch all the way. Oh, very fun, Doreen. It's a Chalk Couture Christmas open house. <gasps> Catherine, I want to see pictures. What baked goods are you making today? Um, yeah, Catherine, what baked goods are you making? I want a lot of snow. And I, who else said that they were baking? Was it Nikki Morris? Hi, Kristen. Yeah, I want to hear um, what you guys are baking. Oh, no. Well, my hair, God love it, gets into everything. I just ironed my hair into the cookie. Thank God I really don't put my hair in the actual food. <laughs> All right, let's let this cool off just a smidge. Oops. Sorry, that was a reminder going off. I hope you guys can still hear me. Okay. Hi, Karen. I want a lot of snow too, Debbie. I do too, doll. Here's our little gingerbread guy. Here's our little Christmas tree. And like I said, I've already used these before, so they're already both labeled, as you can see. I love that these are reusable. It makes me so happy. Okay, so I'm going to use Meadow and Fawn. Let's do our fawn for our gingerbread guy first, since I already have a squeegee out for that. Make sure he's down well. Remember, start above the screen, pull down. I only go up and down when I'm inking. I don't want, in case I do have a bleed, if you go side to side, you're going to force the bleed. That is what I've noticed. It is not something that Chalk Couture says, but it's something that I myself noticed. Okay. It also could just be that I'm a very bad inker, but I'm going to just tell you what works for me. All right, so we'll close up Fawn. We're done with Fawn. Look how precious my gingerbread dude looks. Isn't he the cutest? Can you guys see that? Let's see, we'll zoom in a little more again. Isn't he so cute? And we'll, I'll try and keep this up so that, oh, don't want to do that. Hold on. There it goes. I'm going to try to keep that as far up as, hold on, it might slide for a sec. I'm trying to take my ink off. Lid off my ink. Oh, God, that's a bad idea. Bad idea, bad idea. Okay. Make sure, ooh, that would have been a, that would have been a bleed. Run up my squeegee and just pull on down. Okay, get that excess back into my container. Make sure I have none on my hands. This is surprising that I have not had any on my hands. And look, there's my other little cookie. How adorable. I probably should have used um the fawn for the bottom of the tree but you know what it's okay i'm okay with it all right let's get these guys dry so we can heat set and then guess what my apron's all done all right we're gonna zoom back out because it's kind of making me nauseous to be that close whoa hold on Houston, Houston, we have a problem. Ugh. Stop falling. There it goes. Did we go sideways? No, we're not wonky. Okay. Baking oatmeal raisin cookies and oatmeal scotches. Oh, very fun. Hi, Gabby. Good morning. Good morning, Karen. Hello, hello. How are you? Jess, were you nervous the first time you inked fag fabric? Oh, I was beyond nervous, Debbie, but I was like, oh, my whole life is a hot mess, so my first project turns out as a hot mess. It's okay. I literally, I just took my time. 
and that was it. So just take your time, Debbie, and have fun with it. Don't be scared of, that you're going to mess up because the more scared you are that you're going to mess up or nervous, the more you will. Um, you'll be fine. You'll love it. Take your time. Um, don't try something crazy daunting the first time you ink. Um, that is my suggestion. I did. Oh, boy, did I. Um, okay, it's dry. Um, I did, and yeah, I was, whew, I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, sorry, I gotta pull it down a little bit to get it all. Okay, and we're gonna heat set, and guess what? We're gonna be done. Making my fourth batch of shortbreads and peanut butter balls. Oh, I love peanut butter balls. I'm not a big oatmeal raisin person. Not a very big one. Okay. Whoa. I just dropped the ink lid, ink down on the floor. Hopefully I got it all off the lid. Okay. Hold on. That's a necessity to do ASAP. Woo! Wasn't that bad. But now it's all over my finger. Okay. Hold on, guys. I gotta just get the lids on so that... I don't spread ink anywhere else. Oh, that is not on. That is crooked as heck. There it goes. Okay. Get the squeegees in the cool water bath thing. Okay. Get my towel, paper towel thrown away as soon as I get the. Oh, and I just wiped lots of ink on my hand there ink off. I'm like wearing the ink. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. That is done. That is done. Yay, we're finished. Okay. That's it, guys. Project finished. So you have Mrs. Claus, Made with Love, and our little cookies. Oh, how did I put this back here? How cute. Oh. Get up here. Let's see. I'm not entirely sure how to do this fancy pants thing because the neck is crazy long. Oh, wait. Let's come back to me now. It's like crazy long. I guess I just have to keep pulling it. Oh, yeah. There it goes. Now that makes more sense. It's way long. Mrs. Claus. Oh, oh, that's what you do. Pull them both. Silly. Oh, that's adorable. Can you guys see Mrs. Claus there? Ooh, it really covers you up like a bib. And they're made with love. So cute. I love it. Hi, Kelly Miller. Did you heat set the back? I did not, Dawn Marie. I'm going to do that off camera because um, it is not enough room on this table. So yes, I would definitely heat set the back because I will be washing this because I am a messy crafter, which means I'm a messy baker. So yes, I will heat set the back. When you are making something permanent, you do have to heat set both sides. Okay. I love it. So cute. Okay. Now, really quickly, before my next alarm goes off, which I'm sure it's going to go off in about two minutes. Let's talk about the awesome promo that we have starting Monday, December the 17th at 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Check this out, guys. This is our Simply Said December promo. This will be a yearly promo. It's called our Creative Kickstart. Um, simply said with, uh, the, you are enough transfer. This is a kit that is going to be $34.99 and while supplies last guys. So you don't want to mess around. You're going to, you're definitely going to want to jump on Monday morning and grab yours. The entire kit is only $34.99. You're going to get the chalk tour, um, hexagon 10 inch board, and it will have 
the um why does it look like that hold on one second guys i gotta take that off so that way you can see it boop, boop, there it goes um it's got the 10 inch hexagon board the you are enough b size transfer and it has four chalk paste singles which it oh that's why why did donate here come up sorry let's get that off there that's why it's looking like that um it has got the um, four chalk paste singles, which is bright white chartreuse, mint condition, and turquoise oasis. The chartreuse, mint condition, and turquoise oasis are only for this promo. Um, they're exclusive to this, so that's the only way you're going to get it. And that 10-inch hexagon board is, uh, it has sawtooth hangers in the back, so that way you can hang it, and little padded pieces, so that way if you pop it up on your wall, it will not scratch your wall, which is so awesome. Um, and you're also going to get a small squeegee, and you're going to have everything you need to make this beautiful project. Is it not, um, do you, it, it is not, tell me it is not the cutest thing ever. I love it so much. Um, so if you are interested in getting your hands on that adorable campaign, all you need to do is go right to my web store and you can purchase it starting Monday morning, December 17th at 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. It is not a promo that I'll be able to sell to you from my VIP group or anything. You got to go right on to my web store. I don't even have access to it. Isn't that crazy? This is a customer promo. I love that Chalk Couture is doing that. Um, good morning, Margie. Good morning, Alyssa. It says, please don't. Yeah, I don't know why it said dip. I must have clicked it when I was scrolling down. Sorry. Um, I don't know why that was on there. So that was for my chalkathon, <laughs> my all day chalkathon. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, project today. If you are um, loving it and you are not already working with a designer, me, I would love to be your designer me um all you got to do is comment me down below in the comments and i will message you the link to my vip group where i have specials bundle offers i have a chalk box subscription and i have over 300 chalk couture videos that are in there that you can go back and look at at any time please no designers this is a customer group i apologize um additionally if you saw what i did and you could see yourself doing it and you could see yourself creating beautiful works of art and making uh, money while doing it and hosting sip and chalks and going to vendor events and lots of other stuff. Uh, just comment join down below and I'll message you the link to my opportunity group where I have a video that goes over every single thing you need to know about not just joining my team, but joining Chalk Tour. So that is it, guys. I hope you have a wonderful Saturday. Thanks for having your coffee and doing some chatting and chalking with me. I appreciate it. And I will be back tomorrow with another project. See you later. Bye.